Okay. Hello. Okay. Yes, hi, ma'am. My name is Gabriel Minchaka. I was calling for Lori Lake. Did you want the name of my company, ma'am? Yes, please. Yeah, Portfolio Recovery Associates. Am I speaking with her? May I speak with her? Um, sure. Yeah. Okay, I am speaking with her, then I apologize. Yeah, this is Laura. Okay. All right, well, thank you for taking my call, ma'am. Again, my name is Gabriel. Real quick, formality, I do want to make sure I'm calling for the correct Ms. Lynn. I do a date of birth August 14th of 62, is that correct? Um, can you please give me more information about who you are before I start giving out information about myself? My mom wasn't asking you to give me your date of birth. I gave it to you, but I was calling in regards to a personal business matter. In order for me to continue, I have to verify I'm speaking with the correct Ms. Lynn. Okay. If your date of birth is an issue, I can verify a mailing address. What is your company's name? Portfolio Recovery Associates. Portfolio Recovery, Recovery Associates. Yes, ma'am. Associates. Is that a LLC or a... Corporation. Yeah, we're a company now. So no, an LLC or a corporation? Hello, are you an LLC or a corporation? Like I'm going to look you up. I don't understand why that matters. Because I'm going to look you up and make sure that you're actually who you say you are. Because you called me, okay. so. Okay, that's fine. I'll wait for you. Yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. okay. And you're a California company? Our home office, our home office is in Norfolk, Norfolk, Virginia, ma'am. You can look that up as well. Okay. We may have an office in California. Well, because your number looks like a California number. Yeah. Well, we own the phone number. Every number we call from, we own them. So I may have just popped up because you're in the state of California. Oh, okay. So let me find the Secretary of State in Virginia. In Virginia, you said? Virginia. Norfolk, Virginia is our home office. Okay. Sorry. Ready, yeah, I'm sorry. It's taking me a minute because uh, State Corporations Commission, maybe? Look up a business. I'm sorry. Um, I'm looking at the... It, in California, it's the Secretary of State, but in Virginia, it's uh, they call it the State Corporation Commission. And so um, I've got them now. Portfolio... I'm sorry, I just don't talk to anybody who calls me. You know, I have to check and see who they are. Are you, and so you're at 120 Corporate Boulevard, Norfolk, Virginia? Yes. Um, office address, yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I can continue. Yeah, so what number can I reach you uh, out if I need to? The phone number I'm calling you on is a good contact number for us. Okay. I'm sorry, Ms. Lynn, is the date of birth correct August 14th of 62? Um, what is this about? What's my address? 5757 Erlinger Street, San Diego, California, 92122. No. Was that a pre 
previous address? Um, I don't recall that address. Okay, right, then it's the wrong address. We have a department that has addresses on there that may have got that incorrect. So then, the point of it is that that's your correct date of birth and you're the correct person I'm calling for. And if I can even verify the last word of your social security, 7083. So is any of that information correct, this one? So, who is, uh, who do I supposedly owe money to? What well, woman, I can further elaborate why I'm calling if I'm able to verify that information. Yeah, minute. you verified it. No, you haven't answered my question. I asked you if it was correct, ma'am. No. Is it correct? This one. What? I'm asking you if it's correct. Your date of birth, your social 7083, or your date of birth of August 14th of 1962. You Is know, that information correct, ma'am? Maybe, uh, I don't feel comfortable sharing my information with you at this ma point. I already have your information, ma'am. You're not sharing it with me. I'm not asking you to give me your date of birth. I'm not asking you to provide me the last word of your social. Okay, if anything, I have let it, me ask you something. It, to you. Excuse me, sir. Um, whatever this is about, please send me a letter. And don't use this phone number. So I'm, just I can't do that. I can you I'm sorry to interrupt, because you haven't verified if you're the correct lawyer that I'm calling for, so I cannot process your request now. So once we're able to get over this first step, this first hurdle, we really can't do anything in this line, and I don't think we're going to be able to do that. So I'll go ahead and let you go then. Then don't call this number again, please. Why, ma'am? Why, we're calling for you. You're just unwilling to verify you're the person we're calling I'm asking for you, I'm on a do not call list. Because I'm on a do not call list, and I'm asking no, you if there's, it doesn't matter. It does matter, ma'am. We don't have a do not call list. We're not telemarketers. You're telling me that you're allowed to make a collections call, even if a person asks you not to, and to put it in writing? Well, ma'am, you can look, definitely put it in writing if you'd like. You can send us a cease and desist if you'd like. You have our address. You've looked at my company. So you can do as you see fit. I'm asking you, and I'm recording the call, and I'm uh -huh. asking you to remove me from your calling list, and there any information, anything that you want to say to me needs to be put in writing, and do not call this number again, ever. You do not have okay, permission. No, okay. I have no business okay, with you. Okay. I have no prior yeah, business with your company. I, regardless of how you pin it or you format it, it's the same response I had earlier. So I apologize, Ms. Flynn. I'll go ahead and let you go. You have a great day. Thank you.